Hey guys, welcome back to The Buzz. I'm Tiara Bree and you are watching Ask the Doc. Today we have Dr. Earl I of Senogenics here to tell us about how they can help during National Heart Month. How are you? Doing great, Tiara. How are you this morning? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So tell me a little bit about Senogenics. Well, Synagenics is an age management medical practice, and uh, its goal and focus is to identify the issues and problems, usually significant hormone deficiencies that uh, makes people, shall we say, deteriorate and feel tired, mm -hmm. draggy, put on weight, lose muscle, not sleep, mm -hmm. lose sex drive, mm -hmm. ache all over as they get older. All the things that come with age. Uh, amazingly <laughs> enough, you're right. So, and since it's age management, is it all ages or just at a certain point? We take any age. It turns out that today we're seeing younger and younger people. Uh, one of the problems we have is we have so many hormone disruptors in our environment mm -hmm. called xenoestrogens that men even as early 20s, Late, uh, early 30s, we're starting to see them. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you're aware, but it's such a severe problem that the sperm count in men have dropped 50% in the last 40 years. I was not aware. And what type of things cause things like that to happen? Well, you got PCB, you got bisphosphonate A, you got DDT, you've got mm -hmm. many, many other chemicals that, that we get exposed to. Mm -hmm. It turns out that, that we, that is you and I, if we test our blood, might have as many as 50 to 150 of these chemicals or xenoestrogens in our bloodstream. Wow. It's become ubiquitous in the environment. Um, anybody know Roundup? It's one mm -hmm. of the worst ones. Really? Really. And I feel like these are all things that many people don't know. How could they find out information like this or find more facts about it? Well, they can certainly give us a call. We're Definitely. happy to talk to them. But, but these are facts and, and information that, that I learned by reading extensively. I do mm -hmm. extensive reading. And this is how we understand it. So. Mm -hmm. What we do, too, in the other big category of young people who have problems are those who have had head trauma. Okay. And head trauma causes disruption of the control system. So we see young men in their 20s and 30s, a lot of the so-called golf war syndrome or, or the, the, uh, the, the, the stress disorder mm -hmm. is really due to an endocrine disruption. And once we fix that, great things happen. And that is great. And you all offer different services for men and women, or some of them similar? Well, we, we, yeah, we do offer services to both men and women. Uh, we have two levels of program. We have what we call an intense program. This is for people who have diabetes and heart and cancer and stroke and all kinds of problems. Mm -hmm. And we have a, a, an essentials program that's really for the younger people. Not much wrong with them. Uh, cost is lower. It's easier to do. For them, so it, it works very well. The Definitely. And with National Heart Month coming up, what are some of the programs you offer that help with that? You know, maintaining heart health, stroke mm -hmm. prevention, things like that. Well, step one in our evaluation first, we send somebody to the home to do 180 piece blood work. They draw wow. it right in your house. Mm -hmm. We look at 11 hormones. Right away, if testosterone's low, we know we may have a problem. Why is that? Because the number one site of action in your body of testosterone, men and women, is your heart. Wow. So we want to look at that. Number two is your brain. Number three, of course, is your muscles. Mm -hmm. So step one is to look at that. When we bring them in, we do a whole series of testing. We do something called an exercise or stress study that determines how conditioned you are. And during the course of that, we can tell pretty much how good the heart is. Mm -hmm. If we suspect there's a problem, well, on top of that, we've looked at your lipids, and then we can order specialized lipid testing. We can look, for example, to see if you have APOA, APOB, APOE that are out of balance. And if so, that helps us. If your lipids are high, that puts you at risk. The worst problem that we do is we eat too darn much sugar. That is true. <laughs> and sugar is a killer. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to shorten your life, if you want to age rapidly, just eat a lot of sugar. It'll do it for you every time. That's so, so what sad we to try, hear. try to do is we try, <laughs> we try to get people to realize that and, and lay off. Mm -hmm. But then we also have other testing we do. We actually can do a lipid profile that gives us a risk pattern. It looks at how much LDL, HDL, and the ratio, which those are the lipids that carry the fats in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. And if they're out of balance, they let fats deposit your arteries and you get plaques. So we work with that. If you have the APOE gene, God help you if you have the 4-4 because a huge percentage of them get Alzheimer's. Wow. 
So that's sometimes information people don't want to know when we, when we do imagine. the study. So mm -hmm. we look at that. LP little a is another lipid fraction that tells us. And then finally, we also on the same study do a little bit of genetic analysis, and we can do a complete genome if you're interested. But we look at KIP6 and 9P21, which mm -hmm. are what's called SNPs. I don't okay. want to get too technical. Mm -hmm. It means single nucleotide polymorphisms. This is, means it's genetic. It's okay. one gene that's different from another gene. It's what mom and dad gave you, basically. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So we, <laughs> we look at those, put the risk factors, and then finally, at the end of the day, if we're still not certain, we have an a, a, a institution right by us that we can send our patients to, and we have them do something called a CTA. Mm -hmm. Now, what is that? It's essentially a non-hospital cardiac cath because okay. we can inject dye peripherally, we have them do a 64 slice CT scan that can be done in a very short time, like a second and a half, mm -hmm. and it shows the dye going through the heart, and we can see how good the vessels are. Definitely lots of information. So, well, if they do want a little more information, how could they contact you? All they have to do is give us a call at 904 674 0404 or our email address at ei at cinegenics.com. Perfect. Well, thank you, Dr. I, for joining us on Ask the Doc. Well, thanks for inviting me. I hope it was helpful. It was. Learned a lot. And thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to follow us at I Want a Buzz on all social media, and we'll see you next time.